I don't want to throw the plant away. But this is just fire. Hey guys, as you can tell from the title, this video is all about how mealy bugs ruined Christmas. Now, what I will say is this video was impromptu. I didn't mean to record it. I just may have been one or two drinks in. Mm-hmm. More like one or two bottles, girl. <laughs> and all I can say is it was a calamity. Grab a drink and I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> if you saw my bedroom tour, you would have met Bruce, my split leaf philodendron. Over the past few weeks, it's gone from looking like this to this. In all honesty, I've been having trouble keeping balance with my mental health and my plants took a beating. I assumed because of my lack of care, that's why they were dying. Until yesterday, when I took a closer look, and if you see those white smudges, they look like cotton. But as you zoom in, I realize they were mealybugs. All right guys, it's Christmas day. I wasn't actually expecting to make this a video, um, but I didn't realize just how bad things were. I thought it was just because i have been in the wrong mindset and I'd not been, you know, watering as much as I should. But let me just show you just what I found so far. It wasn't just Bruce. Every single plant that you see here is infested with mealy bugs. I was absolutely mortified. It's crazy because once I knew what I was looking for, it was so obvious, but they're just so small that if you're not looking carefully, you can't see them. Here's a close up look of mealy bugs. A single female can lay up to 500 eggs. They have several nymph stages. Once they reach maturity, Males have no mouths, their sole job is to reproduce. Whereas females are not winged, it's their job to lay the eggs. Much like aphids, they feast on plant sap. This damages the leaves, but they also create honeydew that can spread diseases to your plants, leaving them to look like this. That is way more than what I actually originally thought. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my homemade spray. I'm gonna spray everything down. I'm gonna prune things back and um, I'm gonna see how I go. Because of how small my bathroom is, I can't set up my tripod in here so you won't be able to see. It's just a really awkward shape and angle, but I'll keep stopping and starting and let you see what it looks like once I've trimmed everything back and then also after I've then sprayed everything down. Then I'm gonna use my power shower and blitz everything, give everything a good water and see where we go from there. This right here was one of the worst offenders. You saw him at the end of the bedroom houseplant tour. Oh, it's just vile. I put it into my sink and then I pruned it and took off all of the browning leaves. As you can see, the plant actually isn't that bad, but these mealy bugs are literally just living their best lives. Yeah, okay, looking back at the footage, I think this is the point where I realized just how drunk I really was, that I thought that this was acceptable. I used some tap water and some soap. I also did the same in a spray bottle as well. The plant was so long, I just wanted to get every single one of the leaves drenched in the solution. But just to make sure, I even used my spray as well. You have to be so careful with mealy bugs because they will hide in the smallest cracks and sometimes in the top layer of the soil. Even after all of that, there were still some that had escaped. The dish soap smothers them and kills them off. Look at the change of color. Once they turn this color, they're completely inactive. And here you can see some on the top surface of the soil. And as I said before, if you miss one, a female can produce 500 more. After this massive battle, here you can see I'm fully done and I've got everything. It took me around about 10 to 15 minutes to really make sure that I had got absolutely everything. But I was determined to save this plant. I don't think I could do it. As if I'm actually beginning to have tears. This is the Christmas wine talking. Cha, what a mess. Guys, I wish that you were here with me right now. I don't want to throw the plant away. But this is just vile. Like I'm sat here, <laughs> I'm sat here talking to you guys and I'm literally looking at these things just crawling all around everywhere, crawling on the floor, then looking into the shower and just seeing everything else. And I just don't know if I'm going to get them all. And 
girl as if you are sat there crying on Christmas Day. <laughs> I don't think this is actually going to help, but in my mind it will. No, girl, it did not help. Cha. All right, I'll keep going, I'll keep going. No, I honestly cannot believe I was having a meltdown on Christmas Day. <laughs> this is so gross. Oh, oh. Right. Oh, the, on the floor and everything. No, but guys, seriously, I was not joking. Just look at them all over my floor. Oh, it's just vile. And look at this one. Oh, look, it's just bouncing around. It's pretty much doing the Macarena. Oh, 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 cha. Meanwhile, it's six o'clock and my ham's only just finished boiling. I have not even finished cooking this dinner yet. Um, I've got so much to do. I've got like the veg to do, everything, the, the meat. Um, <laughs> I never expected this whole thing to take so long. I don't know why I decided to start it. I blame this red wine. Anyway, let me crack on. Okay, guys, so I think I've done a thorough enough job with the rest of them. And now on to the last plant, which happens to be another devil's ivy. Whew. And this one, this one's just so disgusting. <laughs> but, um... I can barely string a sentence. Wish me luck. As you can see, this one is just completely infested. But what I would say is make sure that you don't just do the top leaves. You have to look underneath. Look at this little colony that was living underneath this one leaf. I had to do that for every single leaf on this plant. All right, guys. So I've sprayed everything. I've done it. <laughs> very very thoroughly and now I'm going to use my shower head and I'm going to give them a blitz and also let the soil really drench in water because you know I have been slacking with the water I've been if I'm being honest I haven't really been keeping up with the watering and it's down to me and where my head's been at but also when I have been watering I haven't been watering all the way through so I'm going to give them a really really good soaking um, and I'll get back to you after each plant had a treatment, I gave them a good shower and oh shower, is that water hot? What in the world? Okay, okay, be right back guys, be right back. You guys, this is insanity. I actually thought the video was almost over and you know how you always forget your hanging plants? Well, I just remembered I had some hanging plants. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of a check on them. And can you believe that I found even more mealybugs on the pothos up there. Like, this is actually incredible. One that I found at the end of the bedroom tour video is nowhere near any of the rest of these plants. <sighs> the fact that these things have probably just been crawling around and I've not noticed, oh. I had to take a mini break and put the gammon in the oven. So I'm gonna pull down the worst affected ones. I'm gonna go through the same treatment as I use for the stuff in the bathroom. And anything that looks okay, I'm just gonna go around and blitz anyway. Um, this is a Christmas disaster. <laughs> I'm not even dressed. Wait, all right, let me crack on. Okay, right, it is 8.23 um, <laughs> and I'm almost there. Almost where, girl? Almost at the bottom of the wine bottle. Okay, okay, so I had a little bit of a moment and I stopped filming. I didn't sit down to eat until around about 10 p.m. And I may or may not have passed out on my sofa. Anywho, as you can see, the giant pothos is looking a hell of a lot better now. I've been around. There have still been one or two stragglers that I found. Um, so I've gone around and resprayed again today, but this is going to have to be a weekly cycle. So I'm gonna to have to do this once or twice, at least every week, to, just for my own peace of mind, to make sure that everything is done. I hope that you guys have had a less eventful Christmas. Um, <laughs> thank you once again for hanging out with me. Wine again? Ugh. Oh, come on guys, it's white wine. It's completely different. Um, I'm not sure okay. that's how it works. Look, guys, I know I'm on the wine again, but you know, it is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye. This bin is full of all the leaves I had to prune for the plants in my bedroom. Now, as you can see, I've lost some plants and I've had to remodel everything. So at the end of the week, I'm gonna show you how the infected plants look and my new bedroom layout in a brand new tour. See you again soon. Bye.